P3 player, I've had this thing for probably the better part of the last two decades. How to set up your own music server. Play MP3 files and audio files right on the go. And I'm not here to rip on music subscriptions and argue that streaming services are ruining the music industry. I completely understand the Spotify or Apple Music model. Each month you pay a bit of money and you get access to all the music you want, anywhere, anytime. Granted, of course, you have to have connection to the music servers, so you need internet. It definitely makes sense for most people. And I actually use Spotify all the time myself. I don't pay for it, I did at one point. So if I use Spotify now, I usually use it with ad blocker on my computer. It will play any song I want, and it's basically just like YouTube. But of course, I'm not always sitting behind behind a browser and I need a source to be able to stream my music files from and figure out a solution to be able to play music anywhere anytime. I know that free services exist like of course SoundCloud and Musi but the last thing I want is marketers screaming at me while I'm trying to listen to a song. And this is definitely one of the biggest downsides to streaming is they purposely make advertisements extremely annoying. These advertising marketers are so aggressive. You might have noticed this on Spotify you get outrageously annoying commercials and that's done with the intent that you get so fed up with them that you end up just paying outright for the subscription and same thing goes with YouTube premium you might see advertisements on your videos force you to get out of your seat and skip the advertisement so you get so fed up with doing that you buy YouTube premium and paying for media physical media that I permanently own it's completely different than paying of course for access to a file somewhere of a quality that I can't even control of course a lot of time adhere to the open source philosophy so I like having control over all the different technical components that I utilize so of course relying on especially a slave network like a Google home where I literally cannot play a song I want without paying a subscription for a music service. I don't even know why I own this thing. I could probably count on my fingers how many times I've used this thing. So of course, the only righteous alternative would be using local files and CD rips. Now here's the thing, I can't really use CDs in, you know, most places, okay? I have to carry on a big CD player, people are gonna think I'm a lunatic. I had a car with a CD player, but not anymore. So my approach as of late, of course, and I'm not just like using YouTube in a browser, just kind of on the go listening. I have an MP3 player. I've had this thing for probably the better part of the last two decades. Oh yeah, and this particular MP3 player is a Sony Walkman NWZ E374. Like that even matters, but I have it paired with Apple earbuds for, of course, maximum swagger. It's much better than Apple Blink Pods. Transmit cancerous Bluetooth frequencies. In general though, I'm not a headphones person. I think if you wear headphones like in public, you're probably just a head ass and an asshole. <laughs> Joking of course, but you know, it's nice to be in tune with reality and have situational awareness and uh, not be disconnected by escaping with your brain cancer frequency AirPods. But of course, if you want maximum swagger, you want to get an iPod, like old school iPod. But the one downside to those is they're not really drag and drop like a lot of these MP3 players are. So definitely go watch my homie Candy Sushi Productions video on that, link down below. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a very, very easy method to download music at a very large scale. So you'll be able to download an entire artist's discography within a few clicks. And I'll be showing you guys how to set up your own music server using a Raspberry Pi. However, you could use a Dion server or whatever, but I think the Pi is the best for running 24-7 because it's pretty electricity efficient. That's me! Can it break a break a damn? Все оды, естественно, знакомы с проектом rootracker.org. Недавно мне пришли слухи, что его заблокировали в самой России. But for those of you guys that have been torrenting for a while, you probably know of rootracker.org. Rootracker.org, you can get a lot of music from, but it's not really the best tool for less mainstream artists. There is a music section here that says Musica. You can type in English as well, and you don't really need to know Russian to be able to use this site. Here, this some guy has on here an entire discography from 2010 to 2020 he's got their whole discography. Everybody here is praising it as well, but you can see if it has a lot of magnets, or if it has a lot of seeds, it's probably good to go. Uh, as you guys can see, it has 22 seeds, which is like the second highest amount I'm seeing here. So you're gonna need a torrenting client. Now I recommend Qubit Torrent, of course. This is just the optimal one, without a doubt. And you select a path, of course, where you want it to go to. Uh, the latest and greatest 
Napster-like program and service is SoulSeek. Now SoulSeek is also peer-to-peer. -peer. Any user can share their entire folder their entire music folder or whatever folders they choose to select. And in return, a lot of times you're gonna have to share a folder yourself. Now, of course, that's gonna depend on the rules that the person sharing has set, but you'll be able to browse for pretty much any mixtape. So if you go to website slsknet.org down in the description, you can find where to download the exe file for SoulSeek UE, which is a SoulSeek network client. This is a SoulSeek client. Now on Arch, there's this, I know there's a special Python build of it. It's called Nicotine Plus. Open up Nicotine and select Next. And you just enter your username and password to register. So you can select the port to listen on. And essentially, you can, you can select the folder that you want the downloads to go to. So you can have them go straight to your downloads, but I would not advise this. I'd have them go to a downloads directory within SoulSeek, and then you can move them into your music folder per se. But you do want to go ahead and make a share folder. So... So just like so, I made a folder and I'm gonna add it right here. And to download music to find artists, discographies, and stuff like this. So say we wanna search for the goats. Type in Kanye. So let's look for Donda 2 actually. There it is, Donda V2, Donda 2, 2022. And these are MP3 files and these are M4A files. So M4A is gonna be slightly better. So all we have to do is right click and download files too and of course your downloads folder and look how instantaneous this is but yeah this user is also in the united states so it makes sense that it would have pretty quick uh ping so if you got a brand new whip let's take your usb stick with all your music and plug it in like so oh, look at that flashing oh woo, woo, woo. i was able to download all of these mixtapes within literally no time at all maybe a minute to get each album or less so you can get like a nice playlist made you can arrange your files the way you like so you can make a folder that's going to be your playlist and yeah there's no need to make any spotify playlists you know there's not going to be a wrap at the end of the year but you know what maybe you shouldn't be worried about that stuff anyways you can actually enjoy your music and not care about some metadata collection from a third party all right so we're gonna ssh into our server all right so we're gonna make a user and we'll use the m switch to make sure they don't have a home directory we'll also ensure we don't have a shell or a login using user mod that shell now we're gonna go into our etsy samba directory. we're gonna make a backup of the original conf file so we'll create our conf file and open it inside of them it's called a share music We'll make the path direct to that we're going to call music share. Make it writable, browsable, and private. We'll also make the valid users. We'll also add a SMB password for a user. And of course, we have to create our directory in which we'll store our music. We'll give it permission 775. And if you want to make a group of users and user accounts for accessing the music share, what we'll do is we'll make a group, pseudo group add, say music, and we'll add our users to the group as well using sudo user mod append groups, the name of the group, and the name of the user. And finally, we'll add the group to the directory. So what we'll do is sudo change group music, and then we assign the group to the directory. This will ensure that people in a group have read, write, and execute permission. Now, finally, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer some music over from a USB I have plugged into my Pi, and of course mounts, so I'll CP everything from, and finally we restart our SMB server, and we get the status to make sure it's running correctly. Now a client side file manager that I recommend on iOS at least is going to be called Owl Files, it's in the app store, it's free, and it allows you to play mp3 files and audio files right on the go, and it has a lot of other features such as being able to add playlists and even lyrics if you have lyrics inside of your file. And you can save a list of connections so you have different servers, different things, and in the end you can go ahead and port forward your server and access it across WAN.